Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be talking about a significant change to the Star Wars Legion meta. Now I may title this video something like Vehicles Suck or Vehicles Are No Good and I just want to say that that's not necessarily true. Might be a little bit clickbaity. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that the new vehicles at the top end of competitive play probably aren't going to make that much of an impact. Impact. Possibly because of impact. Uh, but before we start talking about this, if at the end of the video you like the video, press like, please. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Yes, indeed. So what am I talking about? Right. So it depends how you describe the meta. I used to think we were even in an infantry trooper based meta, and I think that is still the case. But the meta then sort of dissolved into uh, more specific. Uh, like commander combination so you essentially had Luke Leia and Via's Bubba right they were the two top end lists you could you occasionally saw third wheel super friends whatever you want to call it in the top echelons uh, run by Nick Freeman especially at Adepticon but really they were the two sort of seen as the strong lists but I think that's now possibly changing and opening up a little bit and I think for with I think that's good and I think for good reason as well um now, keep in mind, the evidence for this is minimal at best. The vehicles are coming out today in the UK, like um, the 25th of April. So I can't exactly say that they've been at tournaments or anything like that. Um, and in fact, since the Death Troopers and Krennic have come out, not really any big tournament has run. I think they just came out just as Adepticon was running. So they weren't usable there. At least I don't think they were. Um, so what is the evidence? Well, well, let's talk about what I think the change is. The change is essentially two Death Trooper units with Krennic and Veers. Probably when we get round to it, Bosk and Sabine are going to get added into this mix of meta choices. Um, possibly even more Bosk than Sabine, but we'll we'll get. I'm not 100 percent sure about that yet at the moment, so we'll not talk about it too much in that. So yeah, the, so the list is essentially something like two Death Trooper units with the DLT. Krennic and Veers or Veers or whatever, you probably normally want to run Krennic so that you can get two Death Trooper units in there um, and then two sniper teams. That is four special forces slots, but you it's allowed if you've got Krennic. Um, and then, you know, I say Veers, you don't necessarily need Veers in the list. You could whack just Bosk or you could have Veers and Bosk. But, um, and then just your complimentary two snipers, um, some DLT Stormtroopers, maybe Snowtroopers, if that's something that uh, tickles your fancy. Um, so it's not exactly a massive change in the uh, Star Wars Legion meta if that, if that list became the strongest Imperial list. Because when you look at the change, it's literally two, two slightly better trooper units um, with a different commander that you still possibly want to run Bubba or, or Veers with. So like, it's not the most drastic, oh my god, change um but for sure that seems to be becoming slightly more prevalent now what's the evidence for that one i think you can just look at the list and think that's a reasonably strong list two i mean uh well <laughs> i got beat by this <laughs> in an event but i think one swallow doesn't make a summer but the i i went back and i every time i went watching the invader league um on online on twitch or youtube or whatever a lot of the lists were featuring the this to uh, Death Trooper unit uh, kind of vibe, but with each variations, etc. Um, and I was like, oh, I wonder what, how many percentage of that actually are we seeing? So I, I went and found all the games that I could find for the last like three weeks. And yeah, I'd say about in at least half of them, somebody was running two Death Troopers, perhaps. Sometimes you'd see two Death Troopers versus two Death Troopers. Sometimes you'd not see a Death Trooper, but you'd see Luke and Leia and all that kind of stuff. So, but let's say about 50% of them, you're seeing that list. Um, and yeah, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, who knows. And the Invader League, though, isn't necessarily the best judge of a meta because they essentially allow things that you can't have right now. So they have Bosk and Sabine. They had the tanks, but, you know, the tanks are out now. So, But they may eventually have Shaw Troopers and etc. I'm not sure where they have their cutoff points, but they have Bosk and Sabine which we don't have for another month so whether or not you could argue is it Bosk and Sabine that are enabling the Death Troopers uh, I would argue not because a lot of them didn't necessarily have Bosk in it wasn't a requirement um, I think Bosk may add a little bit something to the list in itself but I don't think he's uh, like the main key functioning part of the list um, so yes the Invader League there's a lot of people running it there right that's fine that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate into physical real life tournaments but 
when you consider just the death troopers themselves as like you know really strong um uh infantry with decent saves decent shooting you know they look that sort of fits exactly what you'd want now when the car troopers come out maybe that'll change back because there'll be no need to have them um there was something i was going to say then uh, oh yeah if you are rocking the death troopers quite often you're seeing the heal bots with them because you want to you've got really expensive infantry units that you want to keep alive so you run a heal, at least one heal bot uh with them maybe two if you can squeeze that in and then when your death trooper gets pierced off the table you just bring him back and he starts shooting again um so that's the essentially the list you've got to have you sort of almost required to have the heal bat heal bots if you're going to take two units of death troopers i think because you then have so many points in so few models that if they do start getting pierced off the board they really really dislike pierce because of that incredibly good save if you pierce through that save you are no longer using it um because they like pierce, uh, because they're so vulnerable to pierce essentially um you want to have that heal bot with that incredible value for money return on the table so um that i'm not trying to make the case that this is the strongest list in the universe or what have you um it is i'm just sort of bringing it out here and saying that this is an archetype that i can see working and making sense um, is essentially elites with heal bots to back them up and you know various extraneous stuff and krennic and the death troopers really give you like good potential i'm really tempted to run it at um an event in a, a week and a half at uh ooh, war no derby board and swords uh whether or not i will if i've got them painted in time etc we'll have to wait and see um but yeah i might try that list i think um, it definitely makes sense and then when we consider sabine and bosk the thing is with the meta because like new things come out every month sometimes it's really hard to settle on the meta so before we get on to bosk and sabine let's have let's talk the vehicles they're not terrible right <laughs> i may have put as i said i may have put in the title they're terrible or whatever they're not terrible they're just um it's just very difficult at the moment to field a large like high pointed model um when there's a very when there's many ways for it to go off the board quite quickly so the thing is if you have a high point in model you need it to do its points worth you, and it if you don't get that effect then you're down a large portion of your army whereas if a death trooper unit doesn't do its points worth for 80 points it's only 80 points or what have you where a tank could be 200 points so i just sort of feel and you also inherently down activations by having vehicles there's a lot of problems that vehicles face uh, mainly i think the imperials having so much impact is the death blow to um vehicles at the moment when we get more factions and maybe not everybody has such easy access to Im um, impact maybe you'll start seeing vehicles a little bit more um but at the minute i just feel like the cost to what they perform as on the table isn't going to be at the highest level of competitiveness it's weird like even the best players though you can rock up with um i think nikki rocked up with two atsts and won a tournament and you know it it does happen people are going to take vehicles and win with them it's not beyond the realms of possibility they're just i think like if you if you're going to think about like the top three kinds of lists i don't think any of them necessarily are going to have vehicles in them and if they do it's probably likely to be like atrts or something like that which are like reasonably cost effective um i just i'm not a hater of vehicles i actually really wish they were in the meta enough um, and the fact that they're not in the meta means that i only sort of useless so you have a lot of issues regarding vehicles um but yeah i think for sure e these new vehicles they do some to bring back the competitiveness competitiveness of vehicles but they don't necessarily bring and they don't do enough in my opinion to see them on the top tables at top tournaments regularly you might see them occasionally for sure somebody will prove me wrong and win tournaments with them but i just don't see the i don't think you'll see like at worlds people rocking vehicles if i'm wrong I will come back and say i am wrong um, but for sure i don't see it happening um so we've got like a new possible archetype with the two death troopers fantastic happy to have that what happens with bosk and sabine now it's very intriguing because I, when i saw bosk and sabine i was like oh sabine is so good sabine she's so so great but the more people are running them on the invader league and the more you think about it i am bosk with his like infinite crit machine well not infinite but that one turn where he's just going to crit everything because he's going to have so many aims uh, it's going to be really good um 
and these range two to four shooting. Oh, I never even spoke about why the Death Troopers are so good. The Death Troopers are pretty good because they range four shooting. <laughs> you can start at range four, um, which is suppressive, and then if you're still in range, you can maybe get Veers to give you an aim uh, with Spotter, and then you just maybe recover and shoot again. Or you can play the Veers card that gives you a recover, then you can sh aim and shoot, or you can move and shoot. And then if anybody gets really close into range one or two, you recover into your red dice with blast. So they're pretty decent. I don't mean to gloss over it, but they're pretty decent. Uh, but Bosk and Sabine are going to be interesting. I don't necessarily think they'll change anything um, in 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 a in a big way. And I think Bosk is going to get fitted into that kind of list. Whether or not he'll get fitted into any other um, combos, I don't know whether or not you'd have him or Bob. I think maybe he might start replacing Bubba, but we'll see. Um, don't know. And Sabine's interesting. Um, whether or not you can get that use out of her Dark... Is it Dark Saber? Dark Shadow? Dark... Whatever her weapon is. When she doesn't have charge, is she going to be hard to use? There's a lot of interesting things happening there. I think the next sizable meta change will be the new Core Troopers, but we'll talk about that when that happens. So, as I said, I'm just... What am I talking about here? I'm just talking about, I think... That, that we have a new possibility of a hard, like, top tier list. I think that's on the table. And I think the next couple of releases are going to make some significant changes as well. Bosk have been, well, I'm not 100% sure, it depends, but they could do, as Bosk could be replaced Bubba, Sabine could be paired along with Luke and be incredible for all I know. Um, and then those core troopers, like, more elite core, like, more elite core troopers, are possibly going to be really strong. Um, what I do think is that the vehicles aren't necessarily going to change the top end of the meta um but you know i bought them they're on they're on route to my house and if i would if they were here now i would show you but um yeah i'm still going to play with them <laughs> don't get me wrong i still love the models i still think like at a non super competitive tournament yeah i'll, I'll run that tank i'll run that earth speeder that land speeder possibly been calling it an earth speeder do apologize if i have um yeah i'll run that land speeder for, for days but yeah, I'm just not sure it's going to change the top end of the map. Let me know your thoughts. Um, you might disagree with me and be like, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be incredible. But do keep in mind that we've not had any evidence of um, tournaments. So it's a little bit hard to say. If, you, in a, if, you, if you're in a couple of months time and you're like, Jay, you were so wrong. Try and link me to the events. Um, I'm very intrigued where people do well at big tournaments um, and with what lists. At the minute, we don't really have that data. So... Keep that in mind, but just remember that one victory with vehicles doesn't mean that they're incredible. Um, just keep that in mind. Other than that, though, like and subscribe. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.